Coming up, I'm going to show you how to make a navigation bar in Notion, step by step. Hi, if you're new here, I'm Andy, the Notion real estate guy. I've been using Notion for over five years in my property business. Now as a Notion consultant, I help users just like you to get the most out of it. Today's tutorial was a really simple follow along. We'll cover how to use synced blocks, page links, and I'll also chuck in a bit of page formatting as well. So if you're fed up with your Notion workspace looking like a total mess, why not try jumping into Notion and building along with me? Plus during this video, I'll also show you how to create a picture navigation bar using a newly released Notion feature. So make sure you keep watching to the end. If you've got any questions, drop them down into the comments below and I'll get back to you. And if you want to grab any of my Notion templates, I'll drop a link to them so you can download them into the description below. But other than that, Let's get into it. The first navigation bar that we're gonna create is just a simple text one. So the first step is to go and create a synced block. So if you just type synced, and then you'll see here we've got synced block, and it's put this little border around. And so our navigation is gonna go into this block. And we want to just create some page headers. So first up, I'm just gonna type home, and that's gonna be the page that we're already on. And then we go to the six docs, we drag up, and we're just going to pop it into this synced block and delete that row underneath. Now we want to go and add our next page, which is going to be properties. So within the sync block, I'm just going to press the space bar three times, and then I'm going to go and put a little break in here. So I'm just going to press this uh, vertical bar, then another three spaces, and then the next one's going to be properties. So I'm just going to type that in. And then again, three spaces, put the vertical bar in, three spaces, and the next one's going to be investors. And then I'm just going to go and do the other ones. Now we've added our navigation headings, we now need to go and add links to each of these different pages. So on your keyboard, if you press either Apple or Command L on the page, you can see it says copied link to keyboard. And then if we go here up to home, if I just go and double click on home, it selects the text and I'm just gonna go and press paste on my keyboard. And you can see now that it's now put a line underneath and if I hover over, it's now got a link to the real estate dashboard, which is the page that we're already on. So if I go and click on edit, you can now see that we've got the name, which is home, which is underneath. And then we've got the page or the URL where it goes to. Let's go and do the next one. So the next one's going to be properties. So I could do this in a couple of different ways. I could either go and click into properties and you can see here that this is a navigation that I'll be showing you in a bit about using images. But yeah, if we want to use this properties page, all we need to do is just go and click again, Apple L, which goes and copies the link to the page. And then we just need to go back and then let's go and double click on properties and let's go and press again paste on our keyboard and it's now got a link to the properties so if i click on this you'll see that it now jumps to the properties page and then i can just go and press back and that'll take us to the home page let me show you that in a different way so here we've got investors so rather than going to the investors page if we click on the six dots here we've got copy link. So I'm just going to click copy link, double click on investors. And again, we could this time go right click and paste. So it does the same thing. And again, that's gone and now added a link to the investors page. So I'm just going to go and do the other three links. Now we have all of our pages set up with their links. So let me show you if I click on investors, there we go. And then I can go back again. I can go to team and then we can go back. So we've now got our navigation bar set up, but we now want this to be available on each of the pages. So how do we do this? Well, if you hover over your sync block that we created at the start, you'll see if you click, you can then go up to this right-hand side and it's got copy and sync. So I'm just gonna click on that one and you can see that it's now said that it's copied. So let me go to the properties page. If I just go and press return under properties and if I go and press paste on my keyboard, you'll now see that we've got a duplicate of that navigation bar on this page as well. And I can click home, that'll take us back to the home page, click on properties and that'll take us back. And that's how we're starting to create a little navigation. I'll show you one more time. So we'll go to the investors page. Again, let's just go underneath investors. Again, I can just press paste on my keyboard straight away. And we've got another copy of that menu. And now we can jump between these three pages and let me go and do the last three great so we've now got our it's really simple but easy to use navigation bar for jumping between all of these different pages and each of these navigation bars are now connected so if I wanted to go and modify this for example let's go and change properties to property if I just click on edit here our title is currently properties let's just go and change that to property you'll see that it's now changed here in the navigation bar if I, but if I hop between each of the different pages you'll see that it's now renamed property on all of them. So they're all synced together, which is really, really powerful. Another way that we can customize the navigation bar is by using emojis rather than text. So let's say that we want to change properties to a picture of a house. If I hover over it and then just click on edit, where it's now got property, if I just double click, let's delete that. And I'm just gonna go and press command control space on my keyboard, which brings up the emoji picker. And I'm just gonna go and pick a picture of a house. 
and you'll see that it's now put a house in there and in the navigation bar itself. So if I just go and click off here, you'll now see that it's still got a link, but it's now the house emoji rather than the word. And if I click on it, it still works. And again, it's replaced it on each of the different pages for the emoji. The second way that you can create a navigation bar is by using columns again with a synced block. And this is done in a very similar way. So firstly, if we go in again, create a synced block. So if you just press SC to get synced block and press return, we've got our little outline. This time, if you press forward slash, we're going to go and add in a few columns so let's start off with five so if i just go in here type col and then five it's going to add five columns in and if i hover over you can see that we've got one there's the six dots two three four five and here we'll just go and add in our heading so starting off with home and then we'll go and add in four more now you notice that we're actually missing space for our admin page but that's no problem just under the sync block if you hover around and up for the six dots we can just go and grab those and we'll drag them across to the right hand side and as you get to the right hand side here you'll see a vertical line so if i go and let go there it will go and nudge everything along and we've now got another column so that's how we get our six column and then again let's just go and put in admin for our final heading and in the same way as we did for the previous navigation bar here you would just go and add in each of your links so again if you press apple l on this page that gives us the link to this page and then just double click on home and paste on the keyboard to go and add that link and then again we would just go and do the same for each of these pages so for example six dots on properties copy link double click over properties paste and there we go and we've got that link and you just do the same for all the others just to give you a couple of formatting inspiration options as well now we haven't got the vertical lines like we did in the last example but we can add something similar so if i go to for example properties if i click on the six dots i can click turn into and here we've got quote so if i click on that one it's now gone and turned it into a quote and all that means actually is it's got this vertical bar and if i just click next to properties and press shift and return we can actually go and add multiple lines underneath it just to go and make that line a bit longer also we can go and color so if i take out those two lines and we want to make this for example a different shade we can go color here and let's go down to blue and it'll just go and color the background another way is if we go to refurbs and then go turn into here we've also got different heading sizes so let's say we wanted to make this a bit bigger because it's a big heading i can go heading to and you'll see that that block is now heading to. Now I re recommend that looks a bit strange, so I would do it for all of them. So again, you just go turn into, select the heading size, and then each of them would be the same size all lined up. And again, you can just go and color the background, go color. Let's set a color, for example, yellow, and that will go and uh, add a bit more interest. So you can just play around with these different formats to make a navigation bar that suits your requirements. This third navigation bar example is a little bit more complicated. And what we're gonna do is create a navigation bar that has toggle that reveals information below. So let me explain what I mean. If we go into this properties page, you'll see again that we've got four different property pages within the properties page. So I could click into these and it could have more information, for example. And as I mentioned earlier, I'll show you how to create this navigation setup in a little while. But imagine that from this navigation bar, we want to be able to go and jump to these property pages straight away. Well, we can do that. So the first thing is if I just go back to home where it's a little bit tidier, we want to change our properties label here to a toggle. And you can do this a couple of ways. Either just go and press the greater than bracket on your keyboard and space, and that will turn it into a toggle. Or you can just go and click on the six dots go to turn into and click here toggle list. So we've now got a toggle here and we've got nothing underneath it as you can see and properties is not a link unlike the other ones. So as in the previous examples, let's turn properties into a link first. So six dots, copy link, let's go and select properties and then paste and that still works in the usual way. So although this is a toggle, we can just click on properties, it'll take us to this page and then we can go back to home. But now what we want to be able to do is to access these properties underneath. So if I press the toggle, the first property here that we've got is 123 Church Street. So I'm just going to type in here the text, so 123 Church Street. And let's go and again add a link, but this time to the second page. So I'm going to click on the six dots. Let's go copy link. I can go and select all of this text and then paste it over the top. And this now link is stored within this toggle, so we can go and hide it. Let's do one more. So we've got 10 Water Lane. Go on the six dots. We can go copy link. Let's just go and type our text in. So 10 Water Lane. Go and select that text and paste. And that's now pasted over the top. So if we were on home, for example, we wanted to quickly jump to one of those properties, we don't need to go to the property page first. We just go and open our toggle. We can go see Water Lanes there, click on it, 
and straight away we've gone to Water Lane. And again, one, two, three, Church Street, straight to that page. So you can create using a toggle, nests of navigation. So imagine how you could use this in your Notion workspace. Something that's even more advanced is that you don't even have to copy links to pages. You can copy links to blocks within pages. So let's imagine within properties here, we wanted to be able to jump down to this section. If you click on the six dots next to properties, you've even got copy link to block. If I go and copy that, let's go over the top of our properties label and click paste. Now, if we were on home and we click on properties, not only will it take us to that page, but it'll take us to that specific block. So if I click, and you can see it's now highlighted. So if you had a really long page with loads of different sections and you wanted to, for example, have a navigation here toggle where you could jump to different sections from the top, that's how to create a more advanced navigation bar. I mentioned earlier how Notion have released a new feature which allows us to create a navigation bar using images. But before I show you how that works, just make sure that you hit the subscribe button and smash the notification bell so that you don't miss out on any future videos. We've got a couple of pictures here and you'll see that if I go and click on them, we can go and actually navigate to the pictures. So that's a really easy way and visual way to make your workspace a little bit more interesting and it's really easy to do. So I've covered two of the properties here. So let's do another one. So I'm gonna grab a blank six dots, take it over to the right hand side and we've got our vertical line. That's added in another column. Let's just go and reorder these, make that a little bit bigger and we're gonna add our picture in here. So the first thing to do is just to make that even and we're gonna go forward slash and image and we'll click on this and you could go and upload an image. So if you design something in Canva, for example, that may be more tailored to your business, um, you can do that here with upload. Uh, you could put a, a link to a product or a, a web page, etc. I'm just gonna go onto Unsplash, which has got some sort of generic images. Let's just put house. We'll just type in the house, find a picture. That looks like it will do. Click on that one and then we can just go and add that as our image here. As that's loading, we now want to go and add a link to the specific page. So if we click on this one, you can see that in the three dots, we've now got here, add link. So I'm gonna click on that one. And here we want to use, let's say Top Hill. So I'm just gonna try type in here, Top Hill. It will search for all the pages, find it. And here we go, five Top Hill. Click on that one. And if I hover, you can now see that when we hover, it's got five Top Hill and it's got the little arrow showing that it's a link. So if I click on that one, it now takes us to that page and we can go back again. But we also, it's useful to add this little caption underneath to make it a little bit nicer. So to do that, just go here to the square with a couple of lines which says caption, click on that one, and I can just type here five top hill, click off, and now we've got a much more visual way of accessing each of our pages. We can click on these, go through, go back, and that's a new way that you can create a navigation bar in Notion. A really useful place to create one of these navigation bars is on a Notion dashboard. And if you're not sure about how to go and do that, then follow my step-by-step -step guide in the video here.